So yeah, this is literally how I created one year's worth of Instagram Reels in literally 30 days. And it completely changed my life. I mean, thousands of dollars per day in extra revenue as well as 5,000 followers in a single day. Now, like most people, when you get started in a new traffic platform, you don't wanna go in and do it. Like every single time when people are like, oh, do Instagram Reels, oh, do TikToks, oh, do all these things, do short form content. I did not wanna go ahead and do it just because, I don't know, maybe I was lazy, maybe I don't like when things change, maybe I think, maybe I'm just getting old, man, and I don't wanna go ahead and do the latest thing. You know, like when I was younger, I never thought that I would be like that old guy that would be more conservative and be like, no, let's actually not change things, let's keep things all the same. But I knew I needed to go ahead and, for example, get into things like Instagram Reels, get into things like TikTok, because around me, people are just absolutely killing me or killing it with it. And I could either be left behind, right? And, and just kind of kick my butt and just complain later on and regret that I didn't take advantage of the crazy opportunity of the reels or I could just get on it. And I didn't realize it because, you know, it's, it's the reason why I started realizing that I should really focus on reels and Instagram reels and TikToks was when I literally had the younger version of myself. He was like this Polish guy, uh, literally in Bali. He came up and he was just yelling at me. He was literally yelling at me, a younger guy, who was kind of like who I was when I was starting to travel. And he was like, Mike, you're being lazy. You need to go ahead and make reels. You need to go ahead and make Instagram reels. You're going to go ahead and be left behind. And, you know, my old mind was like, oh, you know what, young little kid, I'm just going to go continue with my YouTube videos. But I knew deep down he was right and I was wrong. I just didn't want to go ahead and accept the fact that he was right and I was wrong because maybe I was older. Maybe I was more successful. Maybe it's because I was more distinguished. But I knew deep down that... If I weren't gonna go ahead and adapt to the changing environment in the marketplace, and I would literally just be left behind in the dirt. But the biggest challenge, I think, when anyone gets started in Instagram Reels is, is just getting started if they've never done it, right? So what I did is I ended up using the same philosophy that I did with YouTube with the exact same thing on Instagram. Because I literally saw people blowing up left and right for me. I saw people go from like 200 grand a month to millions of dollars a month because of short form. And I knew that if I did not have an open mind to the short form content that I would literally miss out on something that could potentially change my life. So how did I go ahead and tackle this, right? Because when you ever get started in anything new, you just don't wanna go ahead and do this. Like I didn't wanna go ahead and do this. So with anything, with any new goal, with anything that you do not have, immersion is always key. Immersion is always key. It doesn't matter what you wanna go ahead and do, right? It doesn't matter if it's Instagram Reels, if it doesn't matter if it's confidence with women. You need to create an immersive period. Here's an example of this, right? How I got good at, for example, talking to girls was because when I got my heart broken in college, I literally spent 30 days hiring dating coaches, going to Vegas, and just talking to a bunch of people at the club sober, right? So it took an immersive period of my time to get out of my insecurities with women to go ahead and start being confident. What's the exact same thing with anything new? How did I go ahead and start, you know, for example, succeeding in YouTube? I committed to 30 days, a full immersive period where all I focused on was just YouTube, 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 YouTube. There was a moment in time where I literally was publishing three videos a day, three videos a day on YouTube, right? And I knew with this new goal in mind, something that I wasn't yet familiar with, which is Instagram reels. I was like, you know what? I need to go ahead and <laughs> just attack this with full immersiveness, right? Just the like craziness. So I started looking around at what everyone else was doing, right? And the first step that I did is I needed to break down how much content you want to publish daily for the entire year. So I looked at all the people that were absolutely killing it all around my space and they were about average publishing anywhere from like three to six a day, right? Three to six a day, right? Uh, with the one guy, the one young buck that I met in Bali, he was publishing about seven TikToks or short form content or Instagram reels every single day. So. That's exactly how much they were going in and doing. And if you go ahead and do that math, six times 365 days, that's about what? Like right under 2,000 reels. So what most people would have done would be like, oh yeah, I'll do six reels a day every single day for the next year. And I was like, screw that. I don't want to go in and do this. I don't want to spend all of my time just making reels every single day. There's times where I just want to go ahead and peace out and relax and just kind of disappear from the public eye. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and create 2,000 reels in the next 30 to 60 days. Because then, if worst case scenario, <clears throat> this doesn't work, all I did was sacrifice a month to two of my life, but essentially I have a year's worth of content. Just imagine that. I sacrificed one to two months of my life, where essentially I would have a year's worth of content, right? So that's essentially what it is that I would do. So I started to ask myself, what would it look like if I were to go ahead and bulk it and, and, and just do all that year's work in like, for example, one to two months. So the next thing that people ask me when they're like, wait, so you're telling me all of the reels that you're posting on Instagram right now that was from months ago? I was like, yeah. All of the, like if you literally go to my Instagram, all of those reels that I published months ago, I didn't really publish anything new for, for example, Instagram. 
literally months ago. You need to understand that this works if you go out and bulk it. So the next question that people ask me is like, well, how do you think of all these ideas? Well, here's the thing about like the algorithm with Instagram and TikTok and all that stuff. Now it doesn't really matter about followers. Like, like the platforms don't really care about the followers. What they care about is can you hit a relevant topic that is so, you know, it speaks some type of truth that no one else in your space has talked about it and you're very authentic to who you are, that it literally goes ahead and hits the algorithm and just shows it to all the people that are currently interested in that moment. Because if you look in the past, most of the algorithms were based off of, oh, I follow this person, so now I get a bunch of content. Now it doesn't matter. Now your content gets shown, not to just people that follow you, but also to people that don't follow you, as long as they have a similar interest. So how I got ideas is I was like, okay, well, how can I create authentic content that is very authentic to who I am, so I could essentially attract more people that are just like me, that feel the exact same emotions whenever I go through some triggers. It was very simple. Every single day, as I was going through life, I would find anything in my day that angered me. Anything in my day that I learned, anything in my day that pissed me off. Why is that? Because you're already finding these things to complain about your friends, right? To your friends. Oh, you know, it's like this thing happened. Now I got to go and complain to my friends. Oh, you know, that like waiter was very late with my food and that's not how you do service and you're telling your friends, right? Every single time you complain to your friends, what if that was all just like a TikTok or a reel or, or a content piece of idea? Oh, Mike, but this has nothing to do with my niche. It doesn't matter. You are essentially able to get the first touch point to the people to then get to know who you are based off of what you want, what you don't like, your likes, your dislikes, your interests, and your lack of interest. So that's really what I did. Every single day, I would just go through life. When I'm walking, when I'm going on dates, when I'm going to do boxing, when I'm doing all these things, and I'm like, what angers me? Like, what are the little things in my life, communications with certain people that piss me off? I would just write it down in my notes. Write it down in my notes until I would have like 30 or 60 every single day. Now, what I would do the following morning is every single day, I would literally just go ahead and take this camera, put it sideways, kind of make it go like this, right? So it would record it in like the native form of TikTok. And every single day, I would just talk out of my butt, one by one by one, click record for one minute, I rant about what I'm freaking angry about. And just like that, I would have one reel. And again, another one, another reel, and then another one, another reel. And before you know it, I had 30 to 60 every single day of new content that could essentially be reels, right? So that was like literally what I did. The third thing that I ended up doing is I got all the video files and I handed them over to my editing team and my social media team, right? Because they were just overwhelmed. Like, I've never seen anyone do this before, Mike. You literally created a year's worth of freaking content in one month. And I was like, yeah, let's just see if it works. Best case scenario, we make a bunch of money with this and we go viral. Worst case scenario, I only just sacrificed one or two months of my life and I still got, you know, for example, my other traffic sources going to do. So it was very low risk for me, for example. So I literally gave them all of the reels, they were kind of like overwhelmed, so it took me it took them about like 30 days to begin, you know, starting to publish it. So I gave it to the files all on, for example, day zero. And then 30 days after, they already had like, I guess, 60 reels already, for example, published. So we started just starting with like two reels a day with the 2,000 pieces of content that I gave them. And just like that, it just started blowing up with the two reels a day. So I was like, screw it. It was about, we started in October, we started publishing two a day on November, and the December, I was like, screw this, start publishing six a day, and absolutely, completely exploded, right? To literally, I think it was like 5,000 followers at the peak in the highest day. So you can see exactly how exactly how it works. So what do you actually do next, right? Because you can go ahead and do this. This is what I did. I literally had a year's worth of content, right? Now just publishing every single day. Obviously, you need to go ahead and make money from this right? You can't just get a bunch of Instagram reels and all that stuff and, and all these things. You need to make money from it. So what I ended up doing is I put a little strategy link in my bio and essentially I would get on the phone with people who saw my content that wanted something from me and I would just ask them, what were their biggest pain points? What would they buy from me? If they wanted to have me create a product, what would that product actually look like? And I would just get on the phone, get on the phone, get on the phone, have them ask me what it is that they wanted from me. And just like that, not only that, but when you go out and talk to the people that generally have a pain point, you could go ahead and find out what other more pieces of content that you could go and create. Because the problem with this in the beginning is I was just only finding things that angered me. All the things that I was going through challenges with dates, you know, with like, for example, people flaking on meetings for, for example, you know, men that you do business with that wouldn't hold on to the word. So I was only creating content based off of what I was angry about. But when you get on the phone with people that are essentially following you, they're going to tell you what they're angry about. And guess what? You could go ahead and create content about that. And that's how you never really run out of ideas. You understand that? Do you understand content ideas is just people really complaining and moaning about their problems and finding other people that also have similar problems and then together they're like, hey, let's go ahead and buy this product or hey, let's go ahead and learn this thing or hey, let's hold hands and hold each other accountable to go ahead and get this result. Like that's literally all creating content is. It's finding people who complain about the exact same things as you 
and say, hey, I have a product. Oh, cool. Let me go ahead and buy it. That's as simple as that. So the next thing that I would do, again, get on the phone to find out who they are, what they want to buy from you, and what their main pain points are. This is huge because the goal isn't to just explode on Instagram Reels, right? Like who cares? Like I have a friend that has millions of views, millions of views on TikTok. He paints, he gets paid zero dollars, zero dollars. The point about Instagram Reels is you want to build an audience and you want to freaking make money. Does that make sense? So you got to go ahead and find out what it is that they want to buy. The best way to go ahead and sell them something is ask them, what is it that they want to go ahead and buy? It's very simple. People overcomplicate it. And the seventh one, attract people that you would actually want to hang out with and spend time with. Now, I think this is my biggest challenge because it's like before I was like, oh, let me just go ahead and make videos to go ahead and get a bunch of views. And I would get, get a bunch of views and then I would get on the phone and I was like, ah, I don't know if I necessarily want to go ahead and, you know, hang out with this person, right? But I met this person. And he built this very big business, very, very lean. And essentially all it is, it's a product where essentially you go out and meet people to go out and hang out and travel around the world together. He has about like a thousand people paying about like 1400 or $2,000 or $1,000 a year. So just like that, he had a simple business, does a mil a year profit. And essentially every single person that buys into his program is essentially someone that he would want to travel with, that he would want to create content with, that he would want to do business with, that had similar values as him. This is what you got to do. This is literally kind of where we're at right now with Instagram Reels. You are essentially building your own digital content with you as a personality, with you as the leader, and you're attracting more people that have similar values to you. This is literally the next big opportunity. This is what all of the Instagram Reels are moving towards. It's you creating content based off of what's authentic to you, reaching out into the ethers of the Instagram algorithm and pulling the people that are just like you into your tribe, into your community. And of course you making money by just building a tribe. And this is essentially the end goal, B goal for anything with Instagram reels is building your own community of people that have the same, you know, values as you. And last thing is you want to get people that you respect to interview you. Now this is kind of like the hack that I found to go ahead and find more people into your tribe, right? Because like when you first get started and you have nobody around you, Obviously, you're gonna to have to go ahead and just start speaking out of your butt. Speak about the things that angers you, that pisses you off between you know, fitness to relationships to money. Talk about it as much as possible. But essentially what's gonna happen is you're gonna start building up an audience. Now what you need to do with those audiences is you need to go ahead and realize that the questions that the people ask you, if you wanna attract more of those people, you just make more of those content. And what I knew, realized earlier on is what I deeply, desperately wanted was to attract people that I respect into my community. How do I do that? Well, understand this. The olden days, I would go ahead and go find out where all the expensive places, uh, all of the events that they would go to, and I would have to spend money and go directly to them. But a new thing started happening, and I started asking, well, if I just listen to rich people's problems instead of poor people's problems, what if I just started creating content based off of rich people, right? Why do you think I had this idea of, oh, let me go ahead and find out how to go ahead and create you know, one year's worth of Instagram reels in one month? Because guess, when, 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 I started, when I started traveling and meeting all these success people, guess what was the question that they asked me? Mike, how did you create one year's worth of Instagram reels in literally one month? I don't have any time. I have a six figure business. I have a seven figure business. I have an eight figure business. How are you able to get all these content ideas? I was like, oh, <laughs> what if I go ahead and create a video just like this? Attract more people like them into my life because that's exactly what you wanna go ahead and do. Like life is so short and what you need to understand is the secret about life isn't actually about money. It's not about wealth because money and financial wealth is probably the most overvalued form of wealth. The thing that most people deeply crave about is emotions, positive emotions, and positive relationships around them. And if you can use content and your Instagram reels to essentially attract more people just like you into your life, you can truly live a very fulfilled life. And sometimes the hardest thing to go ahead and do that is literally just getting started, right? Which is why if you want us to help you, you can literally book a call with me and my team in the link below.